shows, programs, award ceremonies, fashion shows, and more were cancelled, but this year, at least one of them is returning as an in-person event. Hey, I can't wait to go. <laughs> the annual Met Gala is coming back. Oh, I'm not going. Led by Anna Wintour, the Met Gala is known to be the it ball filled with an endless number of extravagant outfits. It is a celebration of fashion, highly exclusive, looked forward to every single year. They usually come up with themes, eh? And then people wear the themed clothes and everything there. Yeah. The event is usually held in May, but this year it's being pushed back to September to allow for in-person. It won't be as big if it's used, you know, if, if the organizers attempt to reduce numbers to align with state protocol. But that is indeed a step in the right direction. 
and a way of showing that little by little the world is coming back to normal. Come back. Come back. Come back. Now there seems to be a rise in celebrities moving from the industry, entertainment industry into politics. See? Kanye West. <laughs> But there has also been an increase in the support that they are gaining, and it seems to be a worldwide situation rather than just one or two countries. It started off as simply minister position or governors, but now movie stars could potentially be presidents. And more surprisingly, voters are supporting them. We spoke about Yol Edoki. <laughs> I hope I got that right. Son of a Nigerian actor who was endorsed by his father to run for presidency. Recently, an American poll calculated that 46% of Americans would vote for wrestling legend and movie star The Rock as president. But we know Americans, we know, we know America though already doesn't make good choices. Eh? <laughs> and right here, actor Prince David Ose has also announced, maybe not Im immediately, but presidency is indeed something in the cards for him. But now it makes me wonder, you know, if people are, if people are finding the right qualities for president and people, aside politicians, or has it become a popularity contest? If that is the case, then I will get my Instagram up and running so I can run for president of Ghana. Oh, I mean, you can imagine every day I come out and I just finish and I say, Walk one Ghana! Hey, that would be nice, eh? That would be nice. Care for for president, guys. <laughs> Let us know what you guys think. Then, and would you vote for a non-politician as a president? Would you vote for Prince David or say? I mean, why not? Why not? Let's see. Let's see what he has to offer. If Trump can be president, anybody can be president. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all we have for you today, guys. But don't worry. You don't know. We'll come back tomorrow. So this is MX Breaks Lifestyle and Entertainment. My name is Kevoy Burton. Rick Moore. Big up yourselves.